Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM 20 Career, episode 147. We're at the Giro. It's stage 9, 9, and 10 are very decisive stages. Of course, you have some late stages that are going to have a huge impact, but the next two stages are going to make a major, major difference and go a long ways to decide what's going to happen with the GC in this tour. And with 35k to go, we're already getting into the action. Now, there's a couple reasons for that. One, it's a very short stage. Overall, it was only about 145k compared to what you normally have. Uh, two, it's just one big climb at the end and very flat up until that point. That sprint point on top of that little hill, that's where the damage really started to occur. And you can see the whole group is already tired, which is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted. I want to blow this race up very early. I want a very small select group very early. Here's why. Two reasons. One, huge time caps. Huge time caps today with this long climb and straight up to the finish. So that can really help decide the GC. And two, Rodriguez has a plus five. And, of course, we've already pointed out over the first two Giro episodes that in order for us to succeed, we're going to need to take advantage early on in this tour because Rodriguez does have a fitness peak. He was on a minus one on our last stage. Today, though, plus five. He still got that uh, expected plus two. So this is amazing, and we have got to try to take advantage. So with 28 kilometers to go... And we're about to go up and then up and just keep going up essentially just about the whole way. Uh, we're going to sprint train style this thing and we're going to try to blow up the field early. That's going to leave Rodriguez by himself early and maybe I'll save the last guy to try to protect him. And we'll just use the others to blow up the field and, and really shrink it down. Uh, that might be a smart idea and allow him to go a little longer, a little deeper with support for a while but early on i want a very small peloton already uh, so that you kind of get down to the gc guys and they battle it out and then we see huge time gaps and because of the plus five because of the 86 mountain rating because of the 86 resistance and 84 stamina rodriguez can just outclimb most of these guys period even if nobody has energy left now that does not mean we are just going to walk all over everyone and win if we were on easy difficulty or normal difficulty rodriguez could win this stage by three or four minutes uh we're not we're out in the hardest difficulty level they have godlike stamina and yermakov and bernal and those guys are still going to be around okay this is not going to be a cakewalk but if we can have even if we win the stage that's amazing and we certainly are capable but that doesn't mean we're going to automatically if we're at least top three today and close to the top two and we get what we hoped for in the the peloton blowing up and just a few riders left that's going to be a successful day that's what i'm aiming for so let's get on with it uh we'll follow johnson he's the big climber 79 74 uh, Moreau is a 75. Mal Malar, Malar, nice. Okay, Malar's looking good. Uh, Talapov is looking good. Talapov leveled up. Uh, apparently yesterday, I don't know what Talapov's doing way back here, though. Dang. Uh, Moreau is looking pretty good, but he's more of a puncher. So we've got a good group going into this. Uh, Killen is hurting. I'm not sure why. Uh, but we'll get on with Gazzoli shortly. Jorgensen's going to do the early lead-out part, and we're going to probably just hit 85 and push 85 until the peloton is, well, small. <laughs> and down to Nine hopefully just off. a handful the of riders. So, high that a few riders are be very sore at the end of the day. So, Gazzoli gel. Plenty of time to get everyone organized. Rodriguez is going to have been recovered here, and most of the field will not have recovered. I mean, that fatigue that we have in everybody else is still going to be there. And you can see that a lot of GC guys are probably going to have some fatigue as well. So I don't expect these front guys to be around too long. 
You really don't. First part of the climb, eight kilometers for this one, under 5%, so it's not major. And Gazzoli's just not fast, so he's going to have to push a little harder because we do want to blow up the field. 105 riders chasing six, and he's not even gaining on the six. This is also a good time because Killen's gel is kicking in. And he's also running out of energy. <laughs> Not cool, but okay. Now we're starting to see the splits. All right, now we're getting into a guy who's kind of a mixture. Got to keep an eye on Rodriguez. We don't want to damage Rodriguez as we shrink the field now, 76. And you can see Danny Ginn leading out for Ineos right now. Breakaway in the leading group. The leader Gazzoli. of the pack is dwindling. Auto big split now 61. Killen's right at the back. He's gonna go down pretty soon. And we still haven't caught those front six. I mean, who the heck is here? Zeta. Okay. Think oh. a card. Lindhard, Chicone, Fuka, Landa. That's a group that can win this stage, but we just ruined that for them. Here's what we're gonna do. Talapov is nearly out of energy. I want Talapov on the back. And we're going to go 85. Malar get up there. And then hopefully Talapov can maybe just break toe. Going over the top here. And Moreau is done. We'll let him handle the uh, downhill section. And then we'll get Malar going. But that's going to get us down to those couple guys. Left. And there's still 54. This is not how I was hoping that this would go. All right, on to Malar. Moreau is done. Whoa, an Talpa, the use your gel. Group. Okay, so we've got three guys and a whole lot of climbing to do. And we really haven't blown this up at all like I was hoping we would. Uh, Fuka is the one that's still up there, really? Because we're all following Landa and you haven't done anything. All right, we're going to go 80 with Johnson. Rodriguez is in good shape. Down to 39. Behind, and we just behind. picked up all those breakaway riders as well. So, uh, Talapov. Talapov lost the wheel. Let's see if we've lost anyone. Formolo. Vetapol. Bernal. Holy cow, Bernal has missed it. Bernal missed the split. He has been dropped. Uh, there's your breakaway guys going out the back. There's all the Ineos teammates going. Wait, wait, our leader. Are they gonna? Are they gonna drop back to try to support him? No, they're not. They're, but they're at the back of the group. Uh, Carapaz is gonna be the new leader, I would think. I mean, he's gonna lose a ton of time. There's 10k to go. 10 kilometers remaining. Rodriguez. This climb is feared this is by many riders. Attack. The percentages <laughs> are very high. Counter attack by Roman Bardet. There was nine riders. What happened? Oh, not 99. Thank you. Okay, there is nine riders now. Yermakov, McNulty. Willing to do some work. This is what I wanted. Eight riders. Eight kilometers, eight riders. Going clear. And let's check in. So here's Johnson. You've got Simon Yates, Fernandez, Dunbar, Mateo. I mean, these are guys 78, 79, 80, Mountain. There's Bernal. Massively left behind. Sepulveda. There's Barrow. Sivakov also left behind. Martinez, Bardet, Schrodel, Rivera. These guys are all on the edge of the top 10. Safanov, Bookman, Rubio, and Uman also left behind. Seseda caught out. He has missed the split. Trentadu is 
desperately trying to get up there, but he's not going to make it. And we have a group of seven, including Yermakov, McNulty, Carapaz, Paulus, Hagita, and Hamilton. So our little move has worked. We'll see if we can keep that other riders away. I'm not in the lead. I'm only in fourth place. We just created the scenario that just blew up most of the field. And yes, the gap is going out for the most. Yes, it is. It's going out. Now we push to a minute just to Trent to do and then 14 riders behind. Johnson is not in that chase group, but I don't care. We've already opened up about a minute and a half on all those riders behind us with 6K to go. And Rodriguez does not need to be at a 99, by the way. Now, Yermakov and McNulty are the ones doing the work. And why? Because, well, they're the two favorites. Five kilometers to the finish line. Yeah, sure, we're the other one, but <laughs> I'm trying to set this up that we can also take advantage. 5K to go. I want to have something left to attack and get 40 seconds to a minute right at the end. We've already got a minute and a half now to uh, Trent to do and almost two minutes to the group following. Oh, we are having a massive day. We, we still have our gel as well. So uh, right now, heart rate, we're, we're, we're cruise control. This climb features and they are starting to struggle. So Yermakov and McNulty. Yermakov is starting to struggle. McNulty now forced to take over. Okay, we're going to gel up soon. Uh, let's do it now. 2.9. Down to 6. Paulus. Dropped. Hagita on the verge. Two kilometers. Two kilometers. Down to five. Gel kicks in. Oh. Oh, you call that an attack, Rodriguez? Keep on attacking. Anyone that's low on gas definitely won't be 900 meters. Down to three, and it's the three favorites. McNulty's going to take the stage. We're going to take second. And we're going to have a little separation to Yermakov. Can I get him before the line? Of course not. They get us before the line when you're at the... Yeah. I don't know how that happens, how we never get that, but they always, always seem to get that. Not always. Okay, never mind. Second on the stage, really good result. We get time gaps over Yermakov, putting him even further back. Remember, he was all the way down in 10th, though he will move up after that. Carapaz, Hamilton, Hagita, Paulus, Bernal gets all the way up to 8th place, but he lost a lot of time. Bookman, Uman, Schrodel, Ceseda, Trentadu, Rivera, Martinez. It's the usual suspects. But Sivakov, all the way down in 20th, he, he was one of the biggest threats. Sivakov has time trialing better than ours. So he's one of the biggest ones to worry about. McNulty, Yermakov, they're, they're not as good on the time trial. Next stage, we could see ourselves in the lead of this race. McNulty, I think, is the leader now. I think we might be in second, possibly. We'll see, but this this is going well. This is going very well. I was hoping we might be able to get away that little attack. I thought there was enough energy to get that two bike links that you need and then try to ride on from there and open a, a small gap on that last. I mean, we only had five riders left. And That's exactly what I was looking for. Ring. And we get down to three right at the end. We get down to two right at the end. At I, I totally overtook him, but I didn't get it. I, they gave him the stage win. I don't care. I'm not here for stage wins. He gets four seconds comparatively. We don't get the four seconds. That's happened, th what, twice, three times now where we've missed four seconds by a millimeter? Either getting second when it could have been first or getting fourth when it could have been third. Either of those cases, the difference was four seconds. And that, yeah, you know, I, I think that's happened three times already in this tour. Will 12 seconds make a difference at the end? Yeah, <laughs> only time will tell. But gaps are getting really big. Look how big they're getting. 
just from this stage. Okay, same time for us and McNulty. We get 13 seconds on Yermakov, so yay, plus the six-second time bonus, though he got four, so we get 15 seconds technically over Yermakov. Carapaz, 42 down, plus the bonus. Hamilton also. Hamilton's not that big of a threat because, again, good, but... He's going to be just a little off here and there. Even though he's going for it, I don't think Hamilton's ever going to be a big threat. Carapaz, not a time trialer. So picking up half a minute, oh, 45 seconds, three quarters of a minute, and then next stage with the time trial. And Yermakov with the time trial, and we've already gained time on him previously. And McNulty, see, see where I'm going with this? All the contenders, all the front runners today are not the time trialers. Hagita loses a minute and a quarter. Paulus, minute and a half. None of them time trialers. Bernal also. He comes from well behind, but loses a ton of time. He lost almost three minutes. Bookman. Uman. Schrodel. Can time trial a bit, but not great. And then we're pushing three minutes to the next group. It's possible, folks. We may, may win this thing. All right, GC, here's how it's looking after stage nine. McNulty leads, but we're only 44 seconds down. Hamilton, minute 40, and far less of a threat than some of these other guys. Yermakov, 207. He's jumped from 10th to 4th. Carapaz, 218. Paulus. Bernal at three and a half. Huge loss for him. Hagita, three and a half. Uman, over four minutes down. Uh, Seseda as well. And Sivikov, four and a half. Sivikov is the first one on that list who is a very strong time trialist. There's, there's a few good ones up there. But none of them are great. We are in between good and great. In 80, right? It, you... I think you're just about hitting great at 80, just about. So we're looking to gain all sorts of time in addition to what we just picked up. And I mean, look at the gaps. The gaps are pretty healthy already after just nine stages. So hell yeah. Let's get on with it. Moment of truth, Rodriguez, stage 10. It is noted that we are down to that final little bit where... Uh, the last few days of his fitness peak so he's just a plus one now instead of a plus two unexpected despite that he ends up on a plus four today so that's amazing uh he i think he really really is up for the tour at the moment so 85 on the climbing 83 on the time trial 85 on the resistance oh boy he's he's gonna put the in a heck of a time here good, just fifth place seven seconds but I'm not pushing too hard in the early stages. Avenipol has the top time right now. Denny Ginn is third. Umberto Zeta is fourth. Wow, nice job, guys. Uh, Moreau is 11th. Talapov is 13th. So I have been able to sort out the timing uh, fairly well. And you got to go 75 part of the way. Uh, but that you can definitely go pretty hard. Uh, towards the end and and that's going to be key that's where a lot of time can be gained or lost is in the final two kilometers as it's just about the steepest uh, of this time trial so rodriguez is definitely going to be up there now uh, let's take a moment let's take a moment and see where we're at so first check sivakov is up there he's a threat hamilton wow okay and then rodriguez was fifth again okay there's Zeta. Those are the guys that are putting in the top times right now. There's Martinez, Yermakov, but they're down. They're not up. They're down. So four seconds behind Sivakov and Hamilton. Uh, Venipol's not a threat. He he can go on and win the stage. Again, we're, we're not in this thing to win stages. That was a little awkward, though. I sure hope that wasn't the game giving me the boot because we were really slow through that corner, and I don't remember being slow like that for anybody else. Then again, I was not going times one speed uh, for anyone besides Rodriguez. Okay, he has now got that little bit of spare energy again, so I think we've done what we needed to do. We're going to put him back up to a 76 and start pushing. Second checkpoint, fourth place, 19 seconds down. 
We'll give it a little moment here. Hamilton moved into the lead, but same time as Evenepoel. Sivakov is at five seconds. So we're, we're a little ways down compared to Sivakov. He, he is gaining some time, but he lost a ton of time on that last stage. So not as worried. Gin and Zeta, seventh and eighth. Yermakov is ninth, but we're a quarter of a minute ahead of him. Martinez is up there. Trent Tadu is up there. Uman is 20th. We have big, big gaps. So, I mean, we're looking at already a minute down to Uman roughly. All right, here we go. Final push, and Rodriguez has the energy to go strong to the finish. Avenipol in the leader seat. Sivkov is second, two seconds down. He's already crossed the line. We've got 6K to go, and there's still a bunch of riders out on course. That's how far down he is in the GC at the moment. Gin is now fifth. Zeta is sixth. Uh, Schrodel took seventh. There's Barrow in eighth. I'm surprised we haven't had much of a threat from Barrow. Martinez is ninth, so that's a good time. Trentadu is 11th. Uh, Uman all the way down in 17th at a minute 42. That's the time we're comparing to there. And Talapov was a minute 51 in 20th. Rodriguez, final two kilometers, and we can definitely push harder here. One point five K. Yermakov sixth at thirty nine seconds. I'm getting reports that the best time has been. Hamilton just went top. Can we go top? Can we go top? Come on, push the rest of the way, push. Yes, yes we do. Time. That's gonna be a stage win because there's no way McNulty. McNulty's well behind. So we get a stage win on the time trial. 16 seconds is all we gain on Hamilton, which is amazing. The guy's got to be plus fiving this every day. No way, because he's a 77 time trialist. He had to have had a plus five to have that kind of time. And he's looked really up for this race. So even though he's not that great, he, among anyone, is the one guaranteed who is objective, fitness peak, all of that happening at the same time. He's looking at like plus three and maybe he's excited by his position. So he's averaging plus four for every day kind of thing. So Hamilton might stay a threat for a little while here. We move into the lead of this race overall and it's Hamilton in second over a minute behind. McNulty drops to third. Yermakov in fourth. Sivakov over four minutes down in fifth place. Carapaz, Paulus all in that four minute range. Bernal, Uman, and Schrodel over five roughly five and a half each wow okay okay this is the position we needed to be in at this point in this race uh, of course though things are going to get a little bit tougher because the leader's jersey belongs to us so now we've got to protect that lead and that just made our tour a hell of a lot tougher we had to be in this position we really needed to be here, and we are. We're right where we need to be, and the gaps are pretty healthy to most of the riders. And our closest challenger is Hamilton, who isn't that great. And if that fitness peak part ends for him, like it's about to for us, wow, look at that, almost an eight-minute gap over Safanov in the young rider classification. Denny Ginn's still up there, 23 minutes down, though, in fifth place. Uh, Moreau is up there. Anyway, uh... Our closest competitor is probably going to fade, right? He's not going to have the fitness peak for the entire tour. And then his true colors are going to show, and he's not going to be anywhere near as good. And fourth on the team classification, but we are really committing to our leader. Uh, McNulty is definitely still a threat at a minute and a half. Great climber, though his resistance is not amazing. But we're not going to have the bonuses that we've had. So it's going to be hard to keep him at bay. But, of course, we've got that stage 21, and we've got a minute and a half cushion. So you can count on at least two, two and a half minutes that we can lose to him at some point or another and still beat him at the end of the tour. Uh, Yermakov, obviously a bigger threat because he's the best climber here. Uh uh, we've got a two and a half two and a half minute cushion on him plus the time trialing advantage that's going to be a good minute plus so we've got three and a half minute cushion 
on him and and those are the things we need but those guys are going to be attacking and it's going to be hard to defend especially once that fitness peak is gone and we end up with you know a minus two one day or on those zeros uh, so it's going to take a full team effort and it's really going to take that because now as the leaders we've got to protect that jersey so yikes uh Sivakov is definitely the threat with the time trial but he's only an 82 mountain where we're an 83 his resistance isn't great he's not having a great tour uh Carapaz right on his heels Paulus I mean wow I mean, this is amazing this is amazing we we are getting the job done right now uh but it's far from over literally I mean, we're we're halfway Yermakov and Bernal are the two GC guys that are all over the top of the standings, but this year it's a lot of sprinters and punchers, uh, at least at this point in May, that have the bulk of the World Tour points. And then for us, that's that's Reykjavik. Reykjavik all the way up in sixth place. Rodriguez is 13th. He's not out of reach, but he is definitely a little ways behind. I'd place him, what, fourth? Fourth in the GC contenders. Uh, in the in the rankings but obviously depending on how this tour goes he will move up a lot we still lead as a team in the world tour rankings and actually i think that gap has grown a little bit since the start of this tour winning a stage certainly helps but we are second in the super prestige so we're not leading there but we've got a shot we've got a shot this season i i figured we'd crack the podium i figured we'd be maybe third but as we go for this triple crown we're gonna get a lot of points from rodriguez as long as he stays healthy <laughs> fingers crossed win or lose he's gonna get probably a podium on all three again if he's healthy uh, and that's gonna accumulate a ton of points so right now second and it's very very close it's really close to the top six. The former AG2R, and then Jumbo Visma, UAE, Enios, Dukenic, and us. That's a tight contest. EF isn't that far behind. Sunweb is not that far behind. You finally see a drop down to CCC. That's, that's impressive. There's a lot of tight contests in the scoring right now. I mean, the, the doubling up... Usually you see the doubling up somewhere around 4th or 5th place. Not 13th is the first one that's actually doubled. Top 12 are all within that 50% range. That's that's pretty crazy. In terms of wins, we have 13 this season now, so we're doing good, but we're not leading the way there. All right, folks, well... That's going to do it for this episode. We should be able to get three stages in on the next one as we have a couple punchy stages and then one just climb right at the end and shorter, much shorter climb than what we saw in stage nine. Uh, certainly won't be as decisive, but we might not have a fitness peak at all by that point. Uh, and it's not a recon stage, so no bonuses going in. It could be trouble, but you would predict even if we lose time, it'll be a small amount because it's a much shorter climb. Anyway, I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.